First, make sure you can access your router's administration page. Upon logging in, you'll want to verify that the password used is not a default password. If it is, please update it. We highly recommend you create a new password that is different from the one used to access your Wi-Fi network. Next, check your firewall settings. Make sure it is turned on. If you've ever enabled port forwarding, possibly for online gaming purposes, you'll want to confirm this is no longer needed. If it is not, you'll need to disable port forwarding. If Universal Plug and Play or UPnP is supported on your router, we recommend disabling it. While looking at your Wi-Fi configuration, check the security options. Avoid using outdated security methods such as WEP and WPA. If your current method is set to one of these, consider changing to WPA2-Personal. Finally, we recommend you confirm that only known and authorized devices are connected to your router. Try to create a list of all the devices you think you have in your home. Now, go to your router settings and review the displayed list of devices connected to your router. It is normal to see a few more devices than the list you came up with. However, if you see a significant difference in the count, say you think you should have 20 devices, but the list shows 80 devices connected, you may consider changing your Wi-Fi password as a precautionary measure to restrict network access to only known devices. Keep in mind, taking this step will require you to enter your new password for all devices you want connected to your network. While your router and Wi-Fi are essential to ensuring you stay connected, it's also a good idea to check the status of your cable modem and or Wi-Fi access points. You can check on your service provider's website to see if updates are available. Hopefully you found these tips and recommendations helpful to ensure your home network stays secure. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the Cable Labs YouTube channel.